What's going on YouTube? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. This is Carlos. Just uh, doing my first video on this channel. Wanted to bring you in and introduce you to my fish room that I'm just getting started. And when I say just getting started, I mean just getting started. As in, I've got two tanks. So, let's show you those. Here we are. We've got a 29 up top. And a 20 gallon down here at the bottom. Let's get focused in here. Got the focus working out. And yeah, this is totally impressive, isn't it? I mean, Gary Lang is just oozing with jealousy right now. If he could only get his hands on a setup like this. But in all serious though, seriousness, though, I uh, had these hanging out in the garage. Got a couple tanks running inside the house. This isn't. These aren't the first tank tanks I've ever had. I've been doing this for years. I've just always had one or two tanks rolling at a time. And I'm finally making the jump to get in the fish room. So starting off with these two, they were just hanging out in the garage. And uh, you got to start somewhere, right? And then I've actually got over here, all this here is for a storage shed. I'm going to have out in the backyard so that all this stuff oops, all this stuff can move out of the garage so once I get all this stuff out I'll have this whole corner of the garage over here to build out I've already planned out a rack I'm gonna build a wooden rack to hold some 40 breeders uh, uh, three across too high on the 40 breeders and then also have some 10 gallons up top so that's the plan and I'll just leave those two on that stand I'll probably just move it over here so we only need room for one vehicle because I just leave my truck out in the driveway over here I've got another tank rolling but this one is not mine a buddy of mine his wife wanted to get him a tank for his birthday but she doesn't know anything about aquarium so she commissioned me to shop around the Craigslist and get him a tank and get it rolling and everything like that so he'll be surprised with that got some driftwood over here in the utility tub soaking for him so yeah I've got that rolling gonna have all this space over here but as for these things over here I'm about to fall down and break my neck got the sponge filters rolling got some old bio balls that from the canister filter and my 55 got them in here to help get it cycled out got the filter pad in there helping get it get my bio load get my bacteria rolling in the sponge filter got some driftwood I added yesterday or the day before day before yesterday got some little java moss in there I think I'm gonna order some guppy grass to float in these Got the bio balls down here, a little bit of java moss down there. And uh, did a water change on this the other day and uh, actually filled it up. Took about two thirds of the water out, filled it back up with water from the 55 because I wanted to bring the pH down. Uh, straight from the tap, my pH is pretty high. This was running about 7.8. And I didn't want that because tomorrow I'm getting fish they're already on their way coming from Virginia and according to the lady I'm buying them off of she says that she's rolling some softer rainwater and just to make it a little easier to acclimate I brought in some water from my 55 because I got a bunch of driftwood and a ton of plants in that tank so my pH over there was like 6.4 so wanted to bring that that down so brought that water over so hopefully that brought my levels down pretty good I'll test it again tomorrow before I add the fish and it weirded me out for a second that leaf looked like a fish how the fish get in this tank so yeah I'm pretty excited about it and tomorrow I'll have and I'm really excited about this I'm getting eight super red bristle nose so I'm stoked about that and uh, I'll do an unboxing video tomorrow, introduce you to those. And those are going to go up here in this top tank. And uh, the 7.8 pH was before I added the driftwood too, so hopefully those will act as a 
good buffer to bring that down from that. And down here in the 20 gallon, sometime next week, I will have arriving a small school of platinum ivory blue mosaic guppies. So I'm going to roll some guppies down here and grow them out in this tank grow out the bristle nose in this tank and hopefully by the time everybody's breeding age I'll have my full setup running over here or at least enough of it to spread everybody out and get some breeding action going so yeah this is what I've got going on I'm excited about it anybody has any tips to share this is my first time building a fish room it's the first time doing any real breeding or anything like that so Feel free to share any tips in the comments below, and thanks for watching, guys.